Y'all ready? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> LEDs, guys, if you don't know what LEDs are, it's a light emitting diode. Correct. Filament bulb versus an LED bulb. A filament bulb has a resistance wire in it that upon excitement with power essentially burns, and that's what it's doing, and it's lighting up and giving you a bright light. A light emitting diode is an electronically controlled diode that is actually flashing at such a high rate your eyes can't see it, and it puts out light. There's a lot of benefits to consider when you're talking about a light emitting diode. Number one. They're brighter. They're brighter. They're much more efficient. They use much less power. They're vibration resistant. They're vibration resistant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They don't produce as much heat. They don't produce as much heat. That's, that's actually a benefit I had yeah, to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Smaller package. Smaller packaging. You can change the colors. They last longer. Uh, and that's kick ass. So on a lot of the bikes we do, we'll go in and update all the lighting, LED lighting, because while you're there, you might as well. So a common thing to do at home, and it's one of the easiest things you can do to upgrade your bike, is to change out the bulbs. So you can find a factory replacement, we sell them on our website, that will go right into the factory taillight housing that will be brighter, it will last longer, it'll be vibration resistant, and it'll use less power. That right away is a really great way to upgrade your bike. On an older vintage bike, the charging system is normally pretty weak. We've talked a lot about charging systems for your electrical system. The headlight, second to your, to your starter, is the biggest draw on your battery and your charging system. So replacing the standard halogen uh, headlight with an LED headlight is an easy upgrade. Look on our website, there's some stuff to choose from. Almost any headlight you want, is, can, you can find an LED. A replacement LED to go in your factory uh, filament style halogen headlight you can replace. We've got an LED that's like literally the size of the end of a pencil eraser that puts out so much light you can't even look at it. That's pretty cool when you're building a custom bike because then you don't have to have a big obtrusive turn signal that's like that damn big like the factory does because they're cheap. You can put a really small one on it and have it be DOT certified. Check your country and your local listings, but you can get DOT certified ones that no one's gonna miss when you turn on your turn signal. Oh yeah. We like these, and this is a whole nother side note, but these are LED bar end turn signals that ostensibly can be seen from the rear or from the front, and they're at a higher level, so they're in a lot of ways superior to the standard uh, blinker or flashers that are on the end. Oh yeah, so, speaking of which. Yeah, some things to consider. Yeah, right? you want LED turn signals, right? And you put your turn signals in and you Turn them on and they flash really fast. You get this sort of with a filament uh, in, a, in, a, in a factory flasher, it does this. You put an LED bulb in the exact same fixture with the exact same flasher and it goes. There are ways to fix that. If it's a older style bike, you know, you can change out the flasher relay. There's a bunch of different kinds you can use. Some of them that are the same size as the normal relay. Some of them are a lot smaller, like the ones that we sell. The whole unit itself is probably about that big. Versus, versus something, yeah, size. giant. And it's solid state, so there's no like actual physical switching. And we've got there. a couple different kinds available on our site. Exactly, so that'll slow it down and make it real nice and pretty. There's also, if you have a newer bike that's got like a CAN bus system and stuff like that, that's controlling everything and you really can't really don't have any flasher relays, you can actually put in a resistor in line for the turn signals and slow it down. So specifically putting this inline resistor in there creates the resistance necessary that the factory flasher requires so that the flash interval of your turn signal is more consistent and more regular. So another benefit of LEDs is vibration resistance. So as I was describing a while ago, the filament that's floating around inside the standard light bulb, it vibrates, it moves around because it's this little bitty thin piece of wire and that means that the vibration of, say, your old uh, Triumph, and yes, I know this by, by absolute uh, experience, is that it vibrates so much, specifically at higher RPM, that the bulbs would break. I swear to God, I would carry extra bulbs with me on my 72 Triumph. Oh, that's how my old Harley is. Right, because I'd want to ride home at night. I'd look at me like, oh, the taillight's out again. But I went to LED and it hadn't happened since. It used yeah. to happen three times a year. Yeah, and LEDs don't do that. They, they don't have a vibration issue. In fact, I've never seen one fail where I could say that it was because of a vibration issue. In fact, say this, how many LEDs have you ever seen fail other than someone miswiring one? And even then. And even then, they're pretty resistant. They are polarity. Yeah, um, that's one thing to look out specific. for. Specific. So yeah. if you are, if you plug in your LED and it's not working and you don't know what's going on, chances are you have it backwards. You have the positive and negative reversed because that matters. Yeah, man. Either way, there's almost no drawback. Costs a few extra bucks, takes just a little bit of time. Get LEDs, get rid of those damn filament bulbs.
Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We wanna teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.